Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel and a new video. Um, so today I wanted to show you this little gym workout that you can do in the corner of the gym, even when it's super busy. All you need is a kettlebell um, and you can really get a great leg workout. I was feeling this the next couple days, don't say I didn't warn you. So the first move that we're gonna start with will be reverse lunges. Now for these, you wanna use like a lighter kettlebell. I mean, I know I said you can grab just one kettlebell, but maybe grab two different weights if you want. It's okay if you can't. But using a lighter kettlebell, you want to lunge back, passing the kettlebell from your inner thigh to your outer thigh, back and forth. Now what passing the kettlebell does is it helps you to stabilize yourself, to be controlled with the movement and to intentionally have to sit back. In order to um, pass that weight with balance, you're going to have to really sit back through the heel of the front leg as you alternate from leg to leg. So you want to do 20 of these. And the next movement we're going to do are some narrow leg squats. So with your feet together, you want to sit back and then push the kettlebell up and above the head, really making sure that you're pushing your hips back into the squat, keeping the weight of your body going through your heels and pushing that kettlebell overhead. It will feel nice and heavy by the end of it. And this will remind you to keep your chest up and again, getting in a really good burn into the quads here, uh, but also a little bit of an upper body workout as well, which is always great. Then if you can, pick up a slightly heavier kettlebell because we're going into some hinge swings. So for these, you want to stand with your feet just about hip width apart, a little bit wider, um, and you want to push the hips back. So pushing the hips back, and then you want to squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings, and bring the hips back through and have the kettlebell swing from this movement. Note we're not sitting back and down into a squat, we're just doing like the hinge swing movement. So it's almost like a standing thrust um, and with the power that you generate from your glutes and from your hamstrings, that is what is bringing the kettlebell to swing forward. So you're not lifting the kettlebell up with your arms, you are moving it with the power generated by your super strong glutes and hamstrings. Awesome. And then the last move that we're going to do are some side to side lunges. So again, with the heavier kettlebell, you're going to lunge side to side, 15 each way, weight through the heels so that you can wiggle your toes, feeling a little bit of a stretch, but really engaging the glutes and engaging the quads. So you want to take about one to two minutes rest between each set and do four sets of these four movements. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know if you want more little snappy videos like this and I will definitely keep them coming. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe for new videos every week. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.